Scarlelli the Strong Engine. This is a story about Scarlelli the Narrow Gauge Engine. Scarlelli first came to Sir Topham Hatt's Railway 100 years ago. Wow. Read about the troubles he had when he was brand new and he couldn't stop bouncing up and down. Oh my gosh. I'm going to learn a lot reading this. Scarlowe worked on the little railway on the island of Sodor. He was 100 years old, but he was still a useful engine. All the other engines liked Scarlowe, and he would tell them stories about when he was young. Everyone's favorite story was about the time Scarlowe first came to the little railway. Scarlowe was built at the same time as a another engine called Reneus. They were both red with four wheels each. We look wonderful, said Scarlowe proudly. We'll, we, pull, we will pull coaches and everyone will want to ride in them, replied Reneus. Scarlowe and Reneus were both going to work on the mountain line of the little railway. But Scarlowe was finished first, so he had to go to the little railway alone, leaving Reneus behind. The two engines felt sad when they said goodbye to each other. Aww. Scarlowe was sent away on a ship. It was very wobbly. At the port, they used the ship's cranes to lift Scarlowe onto the shore. The ship's cranes were called derricks. <clears throat> and, they, and they nearly turned Scarlowe upside down. How dare they treat me like this, said Scarlowe crossly. He was left hanging from the derrick for a long time. At last, an engine arrived to take him to the mountain line. About time, huffed Scarlowe. It was dark when Scarlowe, when Scarlowe arrived at the mountain line. He felt lonely and miserable. I wish Reneus was here, he said sadly. The next morning, there were trucks everywhere. They rattled and roared past Scarlowe. No, there's no engine pulling them, said Scarlowe in surprise. The trucks come down the mountain by gravity, explained the manager. But the empty ones need taking up. That's why you've come. What? said Scarlowe crossly. I don't want to pull trucks. Can't I pull coaches, sir? Certainly not, said the manager. We have to finish building this line, and for that we need trucks. The inspector is coming to look at the line soon. Scarlowe was furious. When the workman tried to start him, his fire wouldn't burn. He made no steam. He just blew smoke at them. They tried again the next day, and the next, and the next. But Scarlowe wouldn't do a thing. Oh my gosh. Finally, the manager lost his temper. We're not going to look at your, your sulky face all day, Reneus. I mean, Skylowey, he said. We'll leave you alone until you're a better engine. They covered Skylowey with a big sheet of tarpaulin and went away. Skylowey felt even more lonely and unhappy. Nobody talked to him. Oh, poor Skylowey. At last, the manager came back. I hope that you will be a better engine from now on, he said. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. I will, sir, said Scarlowe earnestly. From then on, Scarlowe worked very hard, and although he sometimes got too excited and would bounce up and down, the manager was very pleased with his efforts. By the time Reneus arrived at last, the line was ready. Scarlowe was delighted to see his old friend. Aww. Reneus soon settled in. One day, while he was shunting trucks, Scarlowe hurried up to him. I'm going to pull the inspector's train today, said Scarlowe. Be careful not to bounce, said Reneus. The inspector won't like that. But Scarlowe was too excited. He just couldn't stop bouncing. Uh-oh. I didn't know he bounced back then. Keep going, Star Dreams. Oh. 
Skarloey had to take the inspector up to the top of the mountain and then back down again. The upward journey went well and Skarloey felt very happy. When it was time to go down, Skarloey was really excited. As they went faster and faster, he began to bounce. The coaches were scared. He's playing tricks, they said. Buff him, buff him. Just then, Skarloey gave an extra big bounce, and the inspector lost his footing. He flew into a bush on the side of the line. Then driver, the driver stopped the train. The inspector was not hurt, but he was very cross. From now on, you will stay in the shed, he said to Skarloey. You are a bad engine. Oh, no. When the inspector told the manager what had happened, the manager felt sorry for Skarloey. He knew that he had been trying very hard to be good. What Skarloey needs is an extra pair of wheels, he said. Then he won't bounce anymore. So Skarloey was sent off to the works. When Skarloey came back, Reneus hardly recognized him. He had six wheels and a brand new cab. And he looked very smart. Now let's see what you can do, said the manager. Sure enough, Skarloey found it much easier to travel al along smoothly without bouncing. From then on, Skarloey pulled coaches and trucks up and down the track as easily as anything, and he didn't bounce his passengers once. And 100 years later, he is still as good as new. The end. Wow, Scarlo, you never told me that story. I don't think so.